The video bank is an important professional development tool, but constructing it is far more complicated than you may think. Video bank production is no laughing matter. Video bank production requires many complicated steps that only the most highly capable of us should attempt. The video bank is a colossal collection of video clips depicting all of the proficient levels of all of the instructional elements of Makisa's learning observation instrument by using video of actual teachers teaching actual children. Finding willing teachers to be a part of the video bank can be tricky. That is why a highly skilled practitioner, such as a professional development resource coordinator, must be assigned to this step. The professional development resource coordinator uses all of her available resources to locate highly skilled teachers that are willing to be filmed. Once a willing teacher is identified, the professional development resource coordinator meets with the teacher to discuss what the teacher is going to teach and how the teacher is going to teach it. Once the professional development resource coordinator and the teacher feel they are ready to film, the big day is scheduled and one of the handsome videographers is deployed to the classroom. Once in the classroom, the videographer films the teacher and the students. The videographer takes special care to capture specific instructional elements such as the students talking with each other and other things like that. Now the videographer has a memory card full of instructional magic. There are many steps left before what happened in the room is immortalized in the video bank. There is no time to lose. He must quickly return to the office and upload the footage to his computer. The video is transferred to the computer where the videographer makes some rough edits. The video is then passed back to the professional development resource coordinator who provides editing advice in order to get the exact elements of instruction she is looking for. She knows what she needs based on what the video bank is lacking. She is very thoughtful, strategic, and crafty. The videographer then slices and dices the video to get it ready for the professional development coordinator and her grand scoring parties. The day of the scoring party arrives. Everyone is excited because it happens every single Monday morning and everyone knows how awesome it is. Once a video is scored, it is then passed back to the videographer for post-production work. The introduction, branding, and explanation of the score is added by the videographer. It is now time to add the video to the video bank. Through some highly technical activities and a bit of witchcraft, the video clip is uploaded to the online video bank. Here it is clearly labeled and placed in its proper category for viewing by the educator. And that is how an instructional video bank is created. Quick? No. Easy? Not even a little bit. Awesome? Most definitely. Well, I think it gives you a lot better knowledge and you know so much about more things. Well, I think it's, I think it's real good and everything and we should be lucky that we've got this project. Interesting. It's fun to learn by. I used to dread going to school. I think it's very wonderful and that every school should have it. <laughs>